remaining cold for the rest of this week with a frost by night where you see starry skies a few fleeting showers as well the wind will be strong particularly across more eastern and southern areas and that means a significant wind chill feeling colder than what temperatures would suggest high pressure though in charge which is great news in contrast to the last 10 weeks where we've seen low pressure wet and windy conditions at least most places will be dry albeit cold and that high pressure sort of extends down and drifts towards ireland and then this feature here through friday will approach scotland dragging in some colder air from the north through the weekend now through tuesday evening the frost will return across many areas where you see those starry skies always more cloud across northeast england border regions, northeast Scotland, and that breeze will always be a feature of the weather, delivering some light and fleeting showers to these parts, and over the Pennines, they could turn to snow, the air is that cold. Further south, a widespread frost, temperatures dipping down to around minus two, minus three Celsius, and across the western side of Scotland, across the Highlands, certainly, we could see temperatures as low as around minus six to minus eight, even some patchy frost to start the day across Northern Ireland. So it's a tell of two halves of Scotland. You can see where that stubborn cloud is, clearer skies further west. But watch out for some freezing fog patches across more central parts of Scotland with a lighter breeze. Those showers filing in across border regions, northeast England, also extending towards the northwest of England, a few clipping the far west of Northern Ireland as well. To the south, it's dry, it's cold, and it's also rather breezy, and that wind is cold. So through the morning, you'll see some good spells of sunshine anywhere from the Midlands southwards, central and southern parts of Wales as well. More cloud across more northern areas of England and northern part of Wales, eastern and central parts of Scotland. And the cloud will come and go across Northern Ireland, but there will be some breaks in the cloud. At the same time, this strong northeast wind will bring with it some showers, just pushing over towards the central and southern part of Scotland. Northern England seeing a few, but they'll tend to fizzle out through the afternoon, some dry skies as the cloud breaks up. Western Scotland doing very well with some sunshine, but temperatures struggling here. And towards the east there, six or seven will be your high. It's going to feel more like one or two. So that's the picture on Wednesday. Not a lot in the way of wet weather, certainly a lot of dry conditions, but those showers could just continue through Wednesday evening across border regions, central parts of Scotland, but they'll be fairly light. A few running down towards Ireland as well. That wind will pick up across eastern Scotland through the night. Again, more cloud moving in. And we'll see some patchy freezing fog towards the west, but still clearer skies, middle and southwest east Anglia, the southeast. And again, temperatures will be sub-zero here, a fairly widespread frost. But where you see that stubborn cloud, temperatures holding up, certainly along the eastern side. But through Thursday, where we see that thicker cloud, you could see the odd spot or two of rain, never really amounting to very much. The scenario is mostly dry and again clear towards the west once any freezing fog patches have lifted on Thursday morning. Through the afternoon then, here are your temperatures. Six, seven, eight degrees Celsius, feeling colder in that wind across central and eastern areas. So through Thursday evening and overnight, it's a repeat performance. Again, a return of a frost. At least there'll be some sunshine, particularly in the north on Friday. I'll see you later.